Hi guys, Geek Masher here. Today's video is about a piece of software called DVD Decryptor. It's used for making a backup of your DVDs, which include films, TV shows, and anything else you can think of. This video is on to how to show you to use it. So, double click on the icon to open it. Now, I've inserted The Born Identity. It's a 1 hour 50 minute film. It will be saved to my D drive, which is my data or backup or anything else. You can see where you saved your DVD by going to this icon. If you have multiple CD drives, you can copy multiple discs from multiple drives, but I only have one, which is called E. Now, at the top here, one of the most important things is the Mod tab. Click it, and you have two options. File, which gives you the individual files that's put onto the disc. The IFO files, or the ISO files. So, I'm on the IFO files. If I click the file, this whole section here will change and it will give me the individual files. They won't be connected, but you'll be able to copy them to your library by clicking this button. I prefer using the IFO file, so I'm going to click that. This will give you a roughly about a 6 gig file. There you go. Roughly 6 gig file with the whole film on it. And to copy that to your hard drive in the D, Born Identity, you click the button here, Decrypt. Go to the top, go to Tools and Settings. This will give you a couple of settings. Now, the most important I find is this tab here. Now it has an auto splitting function which allows it to split the file up. I normally go with the full file and you can change a couple of these options but mostly I would keep it. Okay, so, okay that. So, when you start decrypting when you press the button, it will come up with this little thing. This bar will tell you what percentage until it's completed. Here is the time elapsed and time remaining. Here's what you've transferred over. The faster the CD drive, the faster this will go up, and the rate, and the size of the file, and the frames per second, and exactly how much you've still got left in your hard drive. Thank you for watching this Geek Masher video. Hope it helped, and whatever you do with this piece of software, I'm not liable for it. Thanks.